right. Well, hey, everybody. It's Grim Green from GrimGreen.com back here today. Thank you so much for joining me on this, the Topper Tuesday. Now, originally, this video was supposed to be about this RDA. This is the United Chaos RDA, and I pulled it apart, and I noticed, wow, there's a lot of corrosion and crap and stuff on here, and hmm, that's interesting. Well, let me check out the website. Currently out of stock, won't be back in stock for at least a couple of months. So I went, nope. Well, I'm certainly not going to review that. That. And then today was supposed to be about this, this little moonshot RTA that I've been having just a wonderful time with. But right in the middle of my video, I'm rebuilding it, I'm re-wicking it, I'm putting it all back together. I cross-threaded the chimney, cross-threaded the chimney, and now it's worthless. I filled it up with juice leaked everywhere because of the cross threading and the tank just spins on here now because I can't crank it down all the way because I fucking cross threaded it and I was even going to talk about how cool the packaging was which is something I never do so needless to say I was getting frustrated so I put all those to the side and I said you know what I would like to talk about the mouse tank from Cloud Chasers Inc. This is a sub ohm tank. It uses coil heads. It's got enormous, tremendous airflow. It's 100% for Clouds Bro Clouds. But in order to get to know it just a little bit better, what we're going to do is go up close, as we always do right there. Quick, short, up, and closey time. All right, yeehaw. Well, finally, what we have here is the CCI Mouse Tank tank from Cloud Chasers Inc. It's not going to be a whole hell of a lot to see up here. It's a nice big tank. Four mil capacity on this mouse tank. The tank itself is made out of Pyrex. It's 22 millimeters around and it's got a pretty unique little simple easy top fill system. Now it comes with an adapter so you can use your own drip tips as well but I actually like the size of this chuff tip. To fill it all you do is you hold the tank like this, you give the chuff a twist and it pops off and you can see there's two little metal nubbins right there and those little metal nubbins line up with those holes right there and there's an o-ring as well so you can pop this in, twist it, now it's closed untwist it, pop this open, and you can just bleh your juice in there, which is exactly what I'm going to do right now. Bleh. And boom, now your tank's full. Now, Kurt told me it was a good idea to close off the airflow like this, and it makes a little face. Now, he told me to close off the airflow when I'm filling the tank, when I'm popping this on or off. I found that I haven't even needed to do that. I just leave my airflow wide open. I can pop this off, fill it, close it, and you're good to go. Now, there's nothing revolutionary or anything happening down here. It's a big coil head that screws into the base and then screws onto the chimney. These coil heads, though, are pretty honking. This is the 0.5 ohm Canthal, and when you're taking these out of the packs, there's an O-ring on the bottom right here, and there's an O-ring on the top. Make sure that those are there. Just make sure that they're there. The one on the bottom has the tendency to fall off when you're pulling it out of the plastic. Just make sure you have both your O-rings intact. Huge space in the middle for airflow huge space in the middle for airflow. You can see the coils right there. These are top-notch quality coil heads, in my opinion. Now let's take a look at that 510 pin there. Yeah, it's super nice, super protruding. This and only this tank would I feel comfortable rocking on a hybrid mod. Well, that's all there really is to see with the CCI mouse tank. Let's get back out to normal view. Let's vape this big guy. Now the mouse tank isn't quiet by any stretch of the imagination. You heard it there when we went to the uppy closey time. It's loud, it's loud, it's a loud tank. But the airflow on it is so nice and open and swooshy, it's not turbulent. It might be loud, but it is not turbulent. It's got nice, big, swooshy airflow. You saw the center diameter of those coil heads, just air, airflow for days. The flavor is eh. It's there, but it's not stellar. It's not like K-Fun, Veritas, mouth-to-lung sort of flavor. It's good, but it's not great. The performance on it is really just ridiculous. Huge juice flow holes. This coil head has lasted me going on almost four weeks now. So a good long life from the coil heads. It's easy to fill, it's easy to use, it's easy to vape, and the performance from a tank, you just, I mean, 
It's unbelievable. This is one of, if not the best performing tank for cloud chasing that I've ever used. It's ridiculous. I love to just pull on this really hard, blow some gigantic clouds, and have some nice flavor in there as well. Now, my only gripe with the CCI tank is sometimes, not often, but very rarely for some reason, I have a really hard time opening the top juice fill system. And if you're filling it and using it and filling it frequently, it becomes easier to pull off. See, I just pulled it off there, no problem. But there's been times where I've let this tank like sit, not getting used for maybe, I don't know, a day or two, and I'll go, oh, I wanna use that, and I'll start vaping it and vaping it and vaping it, and then when I go to refill it, I cannot get this off. I've had to use the orange rubber-tipped pliers on occasion to get that top part off, and then I fill it, and I use it, and I fill it, and I use it, and it's fine. Like right now, boom, I can just twist it and take it off. But just be aware that if you let your tank sit for a while, maybe even like 24 hours without getting used, and you start vaping through that tank and you go to refill it, you might have a hard time getting this top part off. At least that was my experience. Now, a lot of people have been talking about the 510 pin on this. I feel like it sticks out way far enough to use on a hybrid mod. This tank and only this tank would I feel comfortable using on a hybrid mod. I saw a video of Kurt on Facebook just pounding the crap out of the 510 connection with a hammer. There's no way it's gonna break or fall in or hard short or anything. I feel perfectly comfortable using it on a hybrid mod. In fact, boom, right there. That's right, it's on the Noisy Cricket. Now this is a 0.5 ohm coil head, which is why I feel comfortable using it on a series unregulated hybrid device, but let's give it a rip. Unfreaking believable. This this is a rock and vape. Now, this juice, or this juice, what? This tank does drink a lot of juice. You want big clouds, you want a lot of airflow. Yeah, you're gonna be using a lot of juice. I find that I can fill this up eight, nine, maybe 10 times a day if I'm chain vaping it. Yeah, it goes through a lot of juice. And the last thing I want to mention is the juice viscosity. So I tried this with a 50-50 juice. Nah, didn't work so well. The mouse needs, the mouse loves higher VG juices, like 80% VG and up. Everything 80% VG, even like 75% VG would be fine. But like I tried a 60-40 blend. I tried the dynamite fuse in here. It was bad, it was a no-go. It was gurgling and leaking because the juice was too thin. These juice flow holes are gigantic. So using a higher VG juice in this is definitely gonna be the way to go. Now are you gonna need This is truly and honestly one of the best vapes I've ever had. Sorry for talking with vapor in my mouth. This is truly and honestly one of the best vapes I've ever had. I highly recommend it. It's definitely going in my favorite vapes playlist. Just clouds, just tasty, tasty clouds in your mouth hole. But that's what I got for today. I don't want to get rambly. I'll have a link down in the description to cloudycollabs.com where you can pick it up if you're interested. 45 bucks. There you go. That's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. And yes, let's keep on vaping. That's enough.